Two more things to talk about with just the basics of this curve and how to look at it. And we'll start looking at shifting it, what shifts it. First, what I wanna do is tell you an equation that um, describes the binding of these, these oxygen molecules to hemoglobin. So remember, we've got hemoglobin in two different states, deoxyhemoglobin, this is abbreviated H, HB, that's how it is. And oxyhemoglobin, this one makes a little bit more sense. It's HBO2. So there's a chemical formula we can use to talk about the conversion of hemoglobin to one of these forms to the other, because it actually is a conversion, um, an oxidation, a redox reaction. Um, going from one state to the other, and it involves that, that iron atom, Fe3 plus or Fe2 plus. We're not going to look at that level, aren't you happy, unless you're in biochemistry. But here's the equation. So we've got deoxygenated hemoglobin, deoxyhemoglobin, and we're going to combine it with oxygen. That is going to be converted to HbO2, and guess what, a hydrogen ion. So we are going to affect pH here. Um, and we'll, this will be important um, when we talk about pH in the future. This process is happening where? In the lungs. The opposite, and as you may know with chemical reactions, can happen in the reversible direction. This is super important that can, this can happen in the reversible direction because we need to go this direction at the tissues of the body. So that's the equation. Could you predict how altering PO2 would alter this equation? We could push this to the right or to the left if, by altering PO2, high PO2, um, of course, I should have done this the other way. Let's do, let's do low PO2 here, because that's going to push us this direction. High PO2 is going to push us this direction. And that's our lungs. That's our tissues. So um, it all makes sense. The other thing I want to tell you about this curve while we're just looking at it, um, and we're going to do examples of this, but this is uh, just a, going to give you more than once type of thing. Oh, it's a bad color. I don't want blue. If we were to shift this curve in one direction, could you imagine what that would be, what that would mean? So let's shift this curve to the right. Uh, the whole shirt curve is just shifted this way. We can look at it shifted either direction. What does that tell you? That tells you for, that for a given PO2, we've changed oxygen's ability to bind hemoglobin. We've changed the affinity um, of, of hemoglobin for oxygen. So for example, before at a PO2 of 40, our oxygen, there was three oxygens on our hemoglobin. Our hemoglobin was 75% saturated. Now at that same PO2, our percent saturation is lower. We've reduced affinity by shifting to the right. Um, so when we shift to the right, we're lowering affinity. When we shift to the left, we're increasing affin infinite, <laughs> infinity, affinity of hemoglobin for oxygen. We will see this with examples of things that do this and why this matters next. <laughs> 